Let's get back to American lithium. It has lithium projects on the go in Nevada and Peru. We've talked to them in the past. But now, uh, lithium's the lightest metal. They're spinning off a project involving uranium, the heaviest metal. We're joined by Simon Clark, Chief Executive Officer at American Lithium. Great to see you. Thanks very much for coming on the show. No problem, Andy. Great to see you as well. Tell us about this uranium project. It's in Peru. We don't think of Peru as being a big venue for uranium mining. That's, uh, that's indeed true to date. Um, you know, when we acquired uh, the Plateau Energy, it, it came with a, a fabulous lithium project that we've talked about, but it also had the fifth largest undeveloped uranium project um, in the portfolio as well. Um, the Makassani Plateau actually is the area with the biggest prospectivity for uranium in the whole of South America. And this asset is the biggest deposit in South America of its kind. Is this, um, what kind of rock is this in? Is it, does it resemble Saskatchewan, for example? It's very different. It's, it's hexavalent. It's a, it's a very porous rock. Um, the beauty of it is, although the grades are not what we see in the Athabasca mm -hmm. Basin, it, it, sits, it sits at surface. Um, and it's very, very amenable to acid. And, you know, unlike the Athabasca and other areas, um, there's nothing in the rock that eats acid, um, y you know, so when you actually hit the rock with acid leaching, you recover very high percentages of uranium. So the amount of acid you use to actually recover is very small. That's interesting. So you get the uranium out in a similar way to gold? It, it, it's you know right now we it, on, on the most recent PEA it was a it was a traditional heat leach uh, process but we're actually moving that to tank leaching because that is um, that's even more effective and efficient than than heat leaching. Okay, and is there any kind of a dollar valuation, any kind of capitalization on the on this project? Can you give us a ballpark? Yeah, so so we're spinning it out on a you know what I call an accounting valuation of about 36 million Canadian. Um, however, the project does have a, um, a an MPV on it from a, a PEA from several years ago of 600 million. You know, an IRR close to 50 percent, and an op cost around 17 dollars a pound, which puts it as cool. one of the uh, best projects economically outside of Kazakhstan. Not bad with uranium, about 50 bucks right now. Um, just remind us, you're, you're still a few years from production in either Peru, lithium production in Peru or Nevada. What's, what's next up for you guys, though? So, um, Andy, obviously, you know, our rationale to spin out the uranium is it, it, it doesn't sit long term within a lithium developer that is two, you know, world class lithium assets that we're developing. Um, it gets lost. We don't see the value of it. However, um, when I say we don't see the value, our stock price doesn't see the value, mm -hmm. but um, it, it, it is a wonderful asset. Um, and we think that the best return for our shareholders is to put it into its own mm -hmm. public vehicle where we would expect it to trade up towards the, 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 the net asset value that, that I mentioned before, it's around about 600 million. So it's, um, it's a great asset. It, it's it's um, got a, a very well baked flow sheet so we will be able to move it through in its own vehicle it will move through piloting um, and pre-feasibility and Peru I, I mean you may have noticed in recent months we've we now seem to be uh, in a situation where we have a, a pro mining government they came out earlier this week and said mm -hmm. they want to um, short circuit permitting they're cutting a lot of the environmental permitting from 18 months mm -hmm. to three months so, you know, with a, with a following wind and if everything moves forward, you know, we could be in construction on this project um, by, by uh, 2025, you know, and then a 18, 18 month build. Mm -hmm. So it could see production late 26, we, early 27. We, um, we'd better, John yeah. Simon, I'm sorry to cut you off. We're tight on time, but thank you very much for the update. No problem. Great to chat to you, Andy. Simon Clark, Chief Executive Officer at America.